I don't think anybody really saw that 2010 team coming. Uh, maybe the players themselves uh, had a feeling that they could do it. But Bochi made these bold moves, and that's not easy to do. Not with veteran players, high salary players who've had long track records. They bought into the notion that all we care about is the group winning. So whatever I'm asked to do, I'll be ready to do it. All of a sudden, Pat Burrell comes in, and he is getting clutch hits. He's getting that runner home from third. And then Juan Uribe, who had gone to spring training as a non-roster invitee on a minor league contract, a, an experienced big leaguer, but nobody wanted him. And he had a great spring, and he forced his way onto the ball club. And so they clinch the division series on the road. Now they play the Phillies, and they have to open on the road in Philadelphia against Roy Halladay. Halladay had pitched a no-hitter against the Reds in his first postseason start with the Phillies that year. No-hitter. Cody Ross hits a home run against him the first time he bats against him, and then hits a home run against him the second time he bats against him. The Giants got Cody Ross by accident. They were trying to keep him from going through to San Diego uh, because the Padres needed a hitter, so they blocked him on waivers. Now it's the postseason, and all of a sudden Cody Ross is the greatest hitter on the planet. And he was the MVP of the League Championship Series. Pablo Sandoval, who was way overweight, Pablo uh, had put on a huge amount of weight. He could hardly move. And a lot of the guys in the team were upset about that, that he was, he was out of shape, he, he, he couldn't feel his position, he wasn't hitting. We didn't know it at the moment, but Pablo basically was finished as a player in that postseason right there. That was the fateful move. Uribe moved over to third base for the rest of the postseason and Renteria back in at shortstop. Now he's the everyday guy and of course he ends up being the MVP of the World Series. So that was part of the nature of that ball club. There were some wild things that happened and Bruce Bochy made bold and decisive moves, not afraid to, uh, to hurt somebody's feelings saying this is what we need uh, to win this thing.